Busy Friday night traffic is about to be thrown into chaos again by cyclists from the critical mass protest group. The Balti Bridge northbound will be closed between 6.30 and 7.30, disrupting airport and Telstra Dome football traffic. Charles Slade is at Docklands. Charles, what's the latest? Well, Peter, to paraphrase a famous speech, seldom have so few disrupted so many for so little. A few hundred cyclists inconveniencing thousands of motorists for apparently no specific reason. Critical mass will be crossing the Balti Bridge shortly, oblivious to some stinging criticism. As usual, they started gathering at the State Library at five o'clock. No official spokesperson to explain their motives or demands, just a group of activists rallying to the common cause of cyclists versus cars. Critical mass, it's fun, and let's, lo let's block the bridge. On the way to the Balti Bridge, they'll first ride past Jeff's shed to pay their disrespects to the motor show, all done quite deliberately with no identifiable leadership. It's pretty impossible to negotiate with an organisation that calls itself a disorganisation. Having previously hit the Burnley Tunnel, tonight there'll be similar technically illegal scenes on the Balti Bridge, the northbound lanes to be closed for an hour from 6.30. What a pack of selfish idiots. Most of them should get a haircut, have a shower and get a life. Transurban saying arresting individuals would be counterproductive would extend the protest and the disruption from the protest by many, many hours. Also, as usual, the police and the state government seem unsure how to tackle the recurrent problem. If the police were to act, it is an operational decision for them. It is, an, it is illegal for a minister or a government to direct them in any way. Fans travelling to tonight's football at Telstra Dome will need to adjust their journeys, as will thousands heading for the airport. Well, very soon, police will start the delicate task of closing off the northbound lanes on the Balti Bridge, then escorting the cyclists to the Footscray Road exit. Only an hour-long protest, but it'll take much longer than that for traffic to return to normal. We'll keep you posted, but for now, it's back to you.